What's happening all my beautiful people? It's Jody with the Y and I'm back with some news you can use so you don't walk around looking confused. Hey, I appreciate all the love and support I got from my last video and just like I promised, I'm back with some more content. This time, we'll be talking about how the lifestyle is on base. But first, look, I just flipped the switch. All right, so once you guys make it to your duty location, the Air Force is going to put you into a single room dormitory. There are a few exceptions to this. There are some overseas locations that have like the two man room, but the majority of the Air Force bases have a single room dormitory. We actually pride ourselves on giving you guys that single room dormitory. And I know a lot of people are like, I don't even care if I get a roommate. I, don't, I, can, I can do that. I don't have to have my own room. I'm good. I'm just trying to join, support my country. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. Until, you know, you get like a girlfriend or you get a boyfriend or whatever it is that you get and you want to have some, some privacy. You want to maybe do some Netflix and chill and you got to call your roommate or you got to call your roommates. Let's say you're in the barracks or something in another branch and, and you got to call your roommates and say, hey, I'm having, having no Julia. She's coming through. We wanted to do some Netflix and chill. Do you guys mind if you left the room for about three to four hours? And your roommates are like, nah, bro, I'm, I'm good. I'm chilling. And then you got to find an alternative location to do your Netflix and chill, whatever it is, because you don't have any privacy. That is when you're going to care about that privacy and that's when you're going to be thinking, man, maybe I should have joined the Air Force. So, like I said, the Air Force prides itself on giving you guys those single room dormitories. Now, these single room dormitories, there's a lot of different styles. They have some that are like a single room and then you guys share a bathroom in between. Uh, and there is some where there's like a a four, they, they, they call them quad style dorms. It's like four rooms in one. Um, they're all single room and they share like a common living area, kind of like a living room, a washer and dryer and a kitchen, but they all have their own, um, their own separate bathrooms and everything. So there's a lot of different styles and there's, there's no way you can predict what kind of style of dormitory you're gonna get. It's just kind of luck of the draw when you get to your base. If you guys do have the bathroom that you share uh, with your with your sweet mate, that's what we call them. We don't call them roommates. We call them sweet mates. If you guys do have a bathroom that you share with them, please not. Just just practice common courtesy. You don't you don't want to go in there and see nothing you ain't want to see. So just not and 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 make sure that no one's in that bathroom before you go in there. All right, also, while you're on base, while you're living on base, uh, you are gonna be privy to what the Air Force calls a dining facility. We a little fancy, you know, little dining facility. And the reason why we call them dining facilities is because they're nice. You can go in there, you can get some shrimp, you can go in there and make a salad. That, I've been to some dining facilities where they got surf and turf night, where they give you crab legs and, and steak. They got some of the finest fresh squeezed juices out of a machine. Boy, I'm, I'm telling you, um, they got fish. They, they even got a line. If you ain't even worried about eating healthy, if you just wanted to get your fat on, they got like a snack line where they got burgers and fries. They got everything you need in that dining facility. And the cool thing about it is you don't have to pay for a thing. And if you're not full, let's say you filled up your plate and you're not full, you can go back through the line and fill up your plate again. Now, while you're in the dormitories, the Air Force isn't giving you your housing allowance and it's not giving you your food allowance. And that's because they're giving you that dormitory and they're giving you access to the dining facility. I did in a previous video, uh, I talked about the different types of money that the Air Force pays. I'm actually going to put a link to that video down in the description box. So if you're interested in learning about how much the Air Force pays, you can watch that video and learn about housing allowance, food allowance, and base pay. But yeah, man, those dining facilities, man, they nice. So take advantage. Some other cool stuff about living on base. A base is almost like a small city. Like if you didn't have a car, you would be all right. 
because the base has everything you need. Uh, they have commissaries. Basically, it's like a small little grocery store. Some of them are, are big grocery stores, depending on the size of the base that you go to, where you can get all your necessary food items and stuff from the commissary if you wanted to have some extra food besides what you got at the dining facility. They also have a, what we call a base exchange. It's kind of like a little mall. You can go in there, you can get some clothes, you can get some shoes. If you want it, you can get a TV uh, to put into your dormitory. Uh, you can get like a PlayStation, Xbox, whatever. They got everything you need in those base exchanges. Uh, they also have, if you're in the golfing, most of the bases have a golfing range. So you can go out there and get your, get your golf on. Uh, there are also some type of social environments where they have different game consoles. And you guys can go in there and, and play games with some of the other people on base. It's just a lot to do on the base. That being said, there's so much to do in the surrounding areas of most bases. So just make sure you guys get out and go have fun and enjoy your time while you're at the location where you're at. You guys will only be there for maybe four or six years, so you wanna make sure that you build up those stories so when you come back uh, to wherever you came from, if you go back, you can tell them all the cool stories that you did while you were at your base. All right, so I wanna wrap it up. We talked about the lifestyle the Air Force provides while you're on base. I put some links down in the description box one of them to the balance.com, one of them to the airforce.com. That way you guys can do some research on some of your preferred jobs and try to figure out some possible duty locations where you could be working. I really hope this video helped you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. That way you can stay up with the content that I'm gonna drop every week. Like I always say, y'all stay beautiful. Stay it's a rolling, not a stop. Watch, don't ever stop.